almost always the problem solving in medicine and science, and especially in the world of cancer, begins with a person or a family using those four words, we have a problem. And a physician or a researcher saying, we have an idea, another four words. So when I think about the field of oncology, you look at the, the, the moves forward with the CAR-T therapies, you look at the immuno-oncology, so you look at the new TIL therapies, you look at the applications of gene therapies, vaccines, mRNA technology, all of it is, is incredibly exciting. Um, and, and we have come a long way. In the last 10 years in oncology, we've had 133 new medicines approved, 14 last year. That's good, but it's not enough. And the other important point, too, is when we think about um, how we modernize clinical trials, um, the, imp the implications for artificial intelligence here are enormous, maybe greater than they are in any other field. We can, I think, in, in the relatively short term, five, 10 years, revolutionize the entire way that we do clinical trials, obsolete the need for there ever to be placebo controls again, accelerate you know, preclinical research, maybe get to the point where we very rarely, if ever, need animal models. We use it, too, in, in uh, the predictions of cancer. Who may have cancer? What's your likelihood? And once you are diagnosed with a cancer at whatever stage, the treatment algorithms are going to be massively impacted by what we do in artificial intelligence. Um, so doing it right, doing it ethically, uh, is going to be important as well. But it's something you, you get excited about. Mm -hmm. 